Welcome to Amazing Life 1-2 Channel Guides Today you watching Gillian Anderson British American Actress Lifestyle Biography and Beautiful Photos I hope you enjoy this video like share subscribe channel thank you for watching video. Biography Gillian Lee Anderson O born August 9, 1968, 1 is a British American actress. Her credits include the roles of FBI Special Agent Dana Scully in the series The X-Files, ill-fated socialite Willie Bard in Terence Davies's film The House of Mirth 2000. DSU Stella Gibson in the BBC RTE crime drama television series The Fall, sex therapist Jean Milburn in the Netflix comedy drama Sex Education, and British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher in the fourth season of Netflix drama series The Crown. Among other honors, she has won two Primetime Emmy Awards, two Golden Globe Awards, and four Screen Actors Guild Awards. Gillian Anderson Ob Anderson at the 2017 Berlin International Film Festival born Gillian Lee Anderson August 9, 1968, age 54, Chicago, Illinois, U.S. Education DePaul University BFA Occupation S. Actress, Writer, Activist Years Active 1983 Present Spouses Clyde Plotz M. 1994, Div. 1997, Julian Ozan M. 2004, Divorced Partner Mark Griffiths, 2006 2012, Children 3 Awards Full List Website Gillian Anderson. WS Born in Chicago, Anderson grew up in London, England, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. She graduated from the theater school at DePaul University in Chicago, then moved to New York City to further her acting career. After beginning her career on stage, she achieved international recognition for her role as FBI Special Agent Dana Scully on the American sci-fi drama series The X-Files. Her film work includes the dramas The Mighty Celt 2005, The Last King of Scotland 2006, Shadow Dancer 2012, Viceroy's House 2017, and two X-Files films, The X-Files, Fight the Future 1998, and The X-Files, I Want to Believe 2008. Other notable television credits include Lady Didlock in Bleak House 2005 Wallace Simpson in Any Human Heart 2010 Miss Havisham in Great Expectations 2011 Drive Bedelia du Maurier on Hannibal 2013-2015 Media on American Gods 2017 and Eleanor Roosevelt on The First Lady 2022 Aside from film and television, Anderson has taken to the stage and received both awards and critical acclaim. Her stage work includes Absent Friends 1991, for which she won a Theater World Award for Best Newcomer, A Doll's House 2009, for which she was nominated for a Laurence Olivier Award, and a portrayal of Blanche Dubois in A Streetcar Named Desire 2014, 2016, winning the Evening Standard Theater Award for Best Actress and receiving a second Laurence Olivier Award nomination for Best Actress. In 2019, she portrayed Margot Channing in the stage production of All About Eve for which she received her third Laurence Olivier Award nomination. Anderson has supported numerous charities and humanitarian organizations. She is an honorary spokesperson for the Neurofibromatosis Network and a co-founder of South African Youth Education for Sustainability says. She was appointed an honorary officer of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire in 2016 for her services to drama. She has resided in London since 2002, after earlier years divided between the United Kingdom and the United States. Early Life Anderson was born in Chicago, Illinois, the daughter of Rosemary, Cozy, Alice Nay Lane, 234. A computer analyst, and later vice president of Neurofibromatosis Inc., the Neurofibromatosis Support Group of West Michigan, and Homer Edward, Ed, Anderson III, who owned a film post-production company, 5-6. She is of English, German, and Irish ancestry. 7. Soon after her birth, her parents moved to Puerto Rico for 15 months, then to London. The family relocated so that her father could attend the London Film School. 8. During her childhood, she lived in North London's Crouchend and Herringy. 9. She was a pupil of Coleridge Primary School. 10. When Anderson was 11 years old, her family returned to the United States settling in Grand Rapids, Michigan, 11. They continued to keep a flat in London and spent their summers there, 12. Anderson later said that she had always intended to return to England, 13. In Grand Rapids, she attended Fountain Elementary and City High Middle School, a program for gifted students with a strong emphasis on the humanities, 14. We were in a small Republican town. There were only six punks there. We were weird. It's not like London. 
Anderson on her younger years in Grand Rapids 15 Following the move to Grand Rapids, Anderson went through a rebellious stage as a young girl, taking drugs, dating a much older boyfriend, and cultivating a punk appearance dyeing her hair various colors, shaving the sides of her head, sporting a nose piercing and an all-black wardrobe 12, 14, 16. She was put in therapy at the age of 14, 15. Anderson listened to bands such as Dead Kennedys and Skinny Puppy. She was voted by her classmates as, class clown, most bizarre girl, and, most likely to be arrested. She was arrested on graduation night for breaking and entering into her high school in an attempt to glue the locks of the doors, 17. She later managed to reduce the charges to trespassing. 18. At an early age, Anderson was interested in marine biology, but after becoming interested in theater during her younger years, she began acting in high school productions during her first year and later in community theater. 14. She also served as a student intern at the Grand Rapids Civic Theater and School of Theater Arts. 19. After graduating from high school in 1986, she attended the theater school at DePaul University in Chicago, where she earned a Bachelor of Fine Arts in 1990. 20. Anderson also participated in the National Theater's summer program at Cornell University. 14. To support herself financially during her student years, she worked at the Goose Island Brew Pub in Chicago. After Anderson became famous, the brewery named one of their beers after her, a Belgian-style farmhouse ale called, Gillian, 13. Anderson is the eldest of three siblings. Her brother Aaron, who was diagnosed with neurofibromatosis, died in 2011 of a brain tumor, at the age of 30. Aaron was a DJ, a mentor, and a practicing Buddhist. He was in his second year of a PhD program in developmental psychology at Stanford University when he was diagnosed with glioblastoma in 2008, 21, 22. Her sister Zoe is a ceramicist, whom Anderson called, an exceptional artist, 23. Anderson is bidialectal and is comfortable switching between American and British received pronunciation accents. 24. With her English accent and background, she was mocked and felt out of place as a young girl in the American Midwest and soon adopted a Midwestern accent. To this day, she easily shifts between her American and English accents. 25, 26. In May 2013, during an interview with Blogtalk Radio, Anderson addressed the matter of her national identity, I've been asked whether I feel more like a Brit than an American and I don't know what the answer to that question is. I know that I feel that London is home and I'm very happy with that is my home. I love London as a city and I feel very comfortable there. In terms of identity, I'm still a bit baffled. 27 Personal Life Anderson is an art collector. She used her first paycheck from the X-Files to purchase a David Blackburn lithograph, 114. Her collection includes work by artists such as Diane Arbus, Helen Levitt, Cindy Sherman, Francesco Clemente, Alexis Rockman and Kiki Smith, 115, 116, 19. Anderson enjoys architecture and interior design, she periodically works on floor and house planning projects, 117. She has also expressed a desire to pursue mixed-media ventures in the future, 118. Anderson, is a committed feminist, 119, 120. In an August 2014 interview with Glamour magazine, Anderson said, I have feminist bones and when I hear things or see people react to women in certain ways I have very little tolerance, 121. Anderson has several tattoos. All of them, as she described, are in some way about, peace of mind, right mind, right action, 17. She practices meditation daily. 122. Anderson owned an estate home in Sri Lanka from 2005 to 2012 formerly belonging to painter Justin Daranayagala. 123, 124 relationships and children Anderson pregnant with her son Felix at the premiere of The X-Files. I want to believe, July 25, 2008 Anderson married her first husband, Clyde Klotz, an X-Files assistant art director, on New Year's Day 1994, in Hawaii in a Buddhist ceremony. Their daughter, Piper Maru, was born on September 25, 1994, 8-14. Showrunner Chris Carter, Piper's godfather, named an X-Files episode after her. Anderson and Klotz divorced in 1997, 14. On December 29, 2004, she married Julian Ozan, a documentarian, on Long Island, off the coast of Kenya. She announced their separation on April 21, 2006, 125.
Anderson and former partner, businessman Mark Griffiths, have two children, 126-127. She ended their relationship in 2012. 128 In March 2012, Anderson told Out Magazine about her long-term relationship with a girl in high school, 16. She then told CBS News that she had dated other women, though most of her relationships had been with men, 129. In an interview with the London Evening Standard in December 2014, she stated, I am an actively heterosexual woman who celebrates however people want to express their sexuality, 9. She also identified as heterosexual in a January 2015 interview, 130-131. In an interview with the Daily Telegraph in March 2015, Anderson said she was not closed to the idea of entering another same-sex relationship, adding, to me a relationship is about loving another human being, their gender is irrelevant, 132. She reiterated this to the Times in 2018, saying, I could be with a woman next year. And, it's just who I am. I have absolutely no issue with it whatsoever, and I don't really care if other people have an issue with it. 133. While playing to plead the fifth on Watch What Happens with Andy Cohen, Jillian said the last time she had been with a woman was after she moved to New York right after college. 134. Anderson resides with her three children in London, where she has lived since 2002. 44. From 2016 to December 2020, she was in a relationship with screenwriter and dramatist Peter Morgan career 1990s Anderson moved to New York when she was 22 years old, and worked as a waitress to support herself, 28. She began her career in Alan Acorn's play Absent Friends at the Manhattan Theatre Club alongside Brenda Blethyn, 29 for her role she won the 1990-91 Theatre World Award for, Best Newcomer, 30. Her next theatrical role was in Christopher Hampton's The Philanthropist at the Long Wharf Theatre in New Haven, Connecticut. 31 Anderson moved to Los Angeles in 1992 and spent a year auditioning. The same year, she appeared in her first feature-length film, The Turning, starring Karen Allen and Tess Harper. The film drama is an adaptation of the play Home Fires Burning. 28 Although she had once vowed she would never do television work, being out of work for a year changed her mind. Anderson recalled. First of all, I swore I'd never